Hello folks and welcome. So we're back at our Valve, Valve charger, later grade. We have a nice orange LED here, which is what it's supposed to be doing, apparently. We're hooked up to the land yacht with the Chidemo port. The yacht's at about 390-ish at the minute. Coming in here through that breaker, going into the charger. Got ourselves an ammeter on the charger. I'm gonna come over here to the old pewter. I'm gonna set my current to five amps. I'm gonna say, make it so, charger. We'll now get a nice green LED, and if we come in here, we get five amps. And unlike the previous times, we're gonna keep on trucking. Of course, now that I say that on camera, it'll probably make a liar out of me. But anyway, first time here that we have got the VW charger working and not erroring out on a interlock. It is charging. That charge, as I say, is going back through the demo cable and out up the land yacht's tailpipe. Now, we're still using the Say At Me charging port, but I got the LED wiring correct so that I'm getting the right color coding here on our um, LED. Now, if we want, we can control the charging current. So I can say on my little Arduino sketch, I can say I4, and I can set my charging current to four amps and it will, well, okay, sort of reduce the charging current. It tends to be a little bit, um, tends to be a little bit oscillating when you go to lower currents. So if I, for example, said I3 for three amps, we'll kind of get there, but it doesn't, doesn't really like charging at that level, it seems. Anyway, we're not worried about these kind of finer details today. We're just interested in that lovely green LED and not going out. So, not 100% perfect, but we are a hell of a lot better than where we were last time. So what did we have to do? Well, we had some software and some hardware mods. Got this wire here and all these wires coming out. And so you have a resistor hacked in across two of them. Now those wires go into our multi-pin connector here on the front of the charger. And they represent two things. They represent Let's see, can I remember? Um, okay, the yellow and the white wire that aren't connected represent the motor for the charge port flap, not the lock in the charging socket, but the flap, so the actual cover that covers the charging port. These two represent the feedback position for that flap. And I got a 10K resistor in there simulating that the flap is currently open, which, surprise, surprise, it would kind of need to be for me to be able to charge up. Now, we then have uh, one of these I don't use. I think it's this one. Yeah, so it is three wires, and they represent what are called the immediate charge buttons, buttons on the charger, because apparently on the Golf hybrid plug-in, there are some buttons where you plug in the charging port. Now, I still haven't worked out how they operate, um, whether I've got to give them 12 volts or whatever I have to do, but they are important for terminating charge. I have determined that much, because we can either terminate charge via CAN here, or we can terminate charge using the buttons. So however they work, I don't know. If there's any golf um, hybrid owners out there that um, could give me some feedback on how the buttons work, that would be brilliant also. Now, as you can see, we're still charging. Yay, no more errors. Look at it, it's, it's green. 
It's beautiful. Oh, I never thought I'd get there. Anyway, so right now you're probably worrying my charger is going to overheat and it's slightly warm, but not hugely. Obviously, I have no coolant going through it at the minute. Or as it say in German, hmm, are we going to butcher this now? Kühlwasser? Keine Kühlwasser. Anyway. Uh, I'm sure Johannes is probably burying his head in his hands at the minute. Anyway, um, so, uh, yes, that was the hardware mod that we needed to do. And then there was a software mod. And I want to thank someone uh, that, that mentioned in the comments uh, about the BMS uh, messages on the last video that I had posted about the charger. Um, and I dismissed it at first because I was mirroring the charging current um, in the BMS message. But of course, foolishly, I hadn't realized that I was actually just sending a static message for the high voltage voltage. And unlike the PCS, which has about a 25 volt window uh, between what it measures and what the BMS reports before it throws an error, turns out the Volkswagen has less than five volts error um, between what it sees on the battery, so via the HV cables, and what the BMS reports. So at the minute, our little Arduino sketch is simply taking the, the measured voltage, the measured high voltage voltage that the charger sees and just reformatting that back into um, a message that will, uh, that then is fed into the BMS message. So what I'm gonna do now, hopefully, unless it makes a liar of me again, is I'm gonna set my charging current to zero, which will go down there. I'm gonna shut my charger off, which will cause us to go back to an orange, well, kind of fake orange LED. But now, unlike before, I should be able to restart. So if I put my current, let's say, back to three amps, and A for activate. Oh, that little click. I love hearing that little click. And yeah, there we go. We're pretty much back charging again at a, well, I guess what, maybe three Volkswagen amps. Um, anyway. Um, my can messages are probably not exactly perfect either, so I can't quite blame it for this. Uh, but yeah, so thought I'd make a quick video on this for you folks, so it'll only be about 45 minutes. Um, obviously, I need to work on the buttons, and I need to work on this flap. And the other thing I've discovered, um, I haven't found a message that does it yet, but I've no way to currently unlock the charging port uh, because what I'm having to do at the minute is just take the lock off so I can pull the plug out. Um, but we do know that it's activating the lock and reading it. Um, and the turns out, uh, I actually came across this just on a normal, just on a just on a Volkswagen charging video I found on YouTube today. So it turns out they use the, what do they call it? Central locking to unlock the charging cable or stecker, as we say in German. Um, stecker erigelt, I think is plug locked, possibly. Anyway. Um, so I got to find out what can message uh, represents the yeah, central locking unlock command thingy. Um, so that I've got to figure out and then we'll be able to finally unlock the charging plug. And hopefully then we'll be able to refine our little Duino sketch here uh, to the point that we can actually, um, you know, plug it in and charge it and unplug it and that kind of thing. So at the minute, I've got to do it all from the computer. 
Uh, anyway, by the time you see this video, I will throw my hacky little Arduino sketch up on the GitHub repo for you. Obviously, the more we're, we refine this, the better. And then we'll be able to implement it in the Zombieverter VCU for all of your VCUing pleasure. Anyway, enough about this. Um, until such time as you're subjected to yet another one of my awful videos, don't forget to dislike, unshare, unsubscribe. Don't look at any of the links in the video description. Pete's sake, don't support me on Patreon or PayPal, because this is how I spend your money, on rubbish like this. Um, so, right. Until next time. Happy green lead pulsing.